After all this year, I still don't know what you're selling. What is this? Is that mango? Or is that corn? Like, why do I even care about this? Like, what? This is the reason why you can't have nice. Oh. Is that. Oh, it is the pumpkin boy. What is he doing here? And who are those people? It does look like they are having fun. No, 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 wait for a second. That's impossible. There's no way those are his friend. He can't have friend. I don't even have friend. What? No, 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 no. You know, that's not what I meant. You know, you are more than just a friend to me. You are my partner, Kwaru. What do you mean by the- What? Uh, it's kind of noisy today, huh? So, what were you guys saying? About wanting to party with me? Yes, of course. You know, we are new as well. So I thought about, why not help each other? It's dangerous to go explore outside alone. So why don't we team up together? That way, we can grind more efficiently. That is nice and all, but uh, you know, I kind of don't know you guys. And also, my mom told me that do not go with some strangers, so... What? Are you saying we are bad people? No, 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 of course not. That's not what I meant, of course. Then it's settled. We'll be waiting for you at the field, okay? Don't make us wait for too long. No, I didn't mean to do this type of stuff. You know me, right? Like, I am the... <laughs> that was easy. Uh, shut up. I was the one who targeted him. He's a pumpkin head. Of course he's stupid. Whatever. Let's just go. Hey, wait. Do you think we can get some... <sighs> Not gonna lie, I kinda feel stupid now. No! They just leave, huh? Well, I guess I don't have any choice then. Well, they did say they are waiting for me. It kinda feels bad if I don't go, you know? Koharugo. Hey friend, if you think it's okay, then should we begin? Ah, uh, of course. So, what was the plan? Oh, please. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Disgust me. Just like you, Sisa, this area is perfect for us. So please, go to a little bit more higher level area. That way, we can farm more efficiently. Yeah, sure thing. But, don't you think it's a... He went. Now it's time to take a break. What's wrong? Why don't you relax and sit down? I think I'm okay. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Hey. <sighs> it's kind of tiring, but it was all gonna pay off in the end. <laughs> what are you see waiting level? That stupid pumpkin is still farming for us. Such a nice idiot. <laughs> yes, what a stupid pumpkin. He's probably the most stupidest person I've met in this place. I could probably get some rare item off him too. He's an easy target, you know. Hmm? Uh, Koharu, when did you come? What are you talking? Oh, never mind that. Before that, we actually need to go check the other two. I'm kind of concerned because I can't see their health bar anymore. Where did they go? Oh, the is that Pumpkinhead? It is you. What are you doing here? Nothing. Just cleaning up some garbage and that's it. And how many times do I need to tell you that I'm not Pumpkinhead? I am Mr. Pumpkinhead, okay? Uh, right now, that's not important. Oh wait, did you saw anybody around here? If you're talking about the purple hair girl and the yellow hair boy, then they already left. They said they don't want to meet you ever again, cause they hate pumpkins. Is that so? Well, said this I guess. So, do you have anything to do after this? No. Why? Then how about come to my player house? We can have a long chat of how lovely Asuna is. Yep, I'm down. Alright, let's go then. Yay! Yay! Hello everybody, and welcome to... What is this? Third class. Damn, there's third class. <laughs> I thought I'll never upload any more of this series, but... The reason why this video is here is mainly because of you guys. Like, from the last video, I just um, asked you guys to for some like video idea. Like, as a person who make videos, 
this shouldn't be happening. Like <laughs> the idea should come from the person who make videos. I actually thought most of the people is just gonna leave a game name up there and be done. <laughs> Somehow people actually leave a bunch of comments of what type of video they want and then how should I do it? It's like, bruh, <laughs> some next level stuff. And the most of the comment I see is just, it just warmed my heart. It like, it's like, it's next level. Like, okay, I kind of make this actually very long. But the main point I want to say is just thank you. Thank you guys very much. Okay, let's not drag this too long. So let's get into the main topic today. Today's class is... How to have fun in Sword Art Online to go Factor. Sword Art Online to go Factor, as you know, is a MMORPG. What do you do with RPG? It's basically really simple. Build yourself. This character is different from any other Sword Art Online game. Most other Sword Art Online game is basically you are gonna be Kirito and plays as Kirito. But in this game, you are yourself. You are the integral factor. We are not Kirito, so we all start weak. Of course, Kirito also start weak, but in those games, they probably all start from level 100. MMORPG's biggest selling point is just in their names, MMORPG. You can play with a lot of players, and also it's RPG, so you can grow yourself. The process of we are weak and getting strong is the fun part of the game. Of course, some people might think oh, it's uh, so tedious, so I want to just get strong right away. But trust me, in this type of game, if you get strong right away, you're probably going to leave right away as well. Because when you actually become the strongest, the only thing you can do at that point is basically wait. Wait for next update to drop in order for you to become stronger. But it's okay, as long as you play this game normally, you shouldn't be that strong right away. If you're playing normally, I said. You know what I mean, right? Playing normally. Play normally, okay? So right now, you know, building yourself is how you should play this game. But how do you play this game fun? That's totally another subject. So I will start one by one from now on. Mindlessly grinding is okay too. That's only okay for some time. If you do that all the time, you'll eventually notice that... What? Why am I not getting stronger? What is wrong? What am I doing wrong? Don't worry, you are not doing anything wrong. But um, it's just not gonna be as efficient as a person who set their goal beforehanded. For example, a person is level 80 and he wants to become level 90 by the end of this month. And that's a perfect example of uh, how to set a goal. But remember, do not overdo your goal. For example, you are level 80 and you want to become level, um, let's say, 120 by the end of the month. And that's what it calls to be overdoing a goal. For a short amount of time, then sure, yeah, that's okay. But uh, if you do it a lot, like um, constantly doing that, then whenever you open this game, you're basically gonna think, oh shoot, another 10 hours of grinding hell, another 10 hours of suffering. What am I doing? Why am I even playing this game? I'm not even having fun. I'm just grinding. Then that will gonna make you think game equals grinding equals suffering equals no fun at all. And of course, that's the reason why we don't want to overdo our goal. Of course, there is also weapon proficiency grinding. The integral theory that you wanted all the time, but I couldn't say oh, your mind to go to get it, because it's, it's next again. level grinding. So how do we have fun while we are grinding? Here is where our next point comes to. Grinding alone is nice, but sometimes you just want to change up the flavor, you know? Maybe you want someone to talk to, or maybe you just see your EXP bar doesn't go up at all, and then you feel like next level said this. That's the time where you should consider about getting a friend, or join a guild. But of course in my friend group, there's nobody like to play RPG, so Peek said this for me. They are the type of people like to play Rocket League or Modern Warfare. Like whenever I tell them, hey, let's play RPG, and they say, Oh, imagine playing RPG. Whoa, like, Shut the <laughs> Okay, that was personal. But they don't know my channel, so they can go cry. So anyway, the only option left for me was a guild. With a good guild, you can gain a lot of good benefit. But of course, if it's a good guild. If you only want the guild buff and then you are in that guild, that's okay too. But um, I suggest you to go find a more active guild. Active guild has a benefit of have a better experience in ranking event. Whenever there's a new event, we can call up some guild member and do some event run, chaos boss run, or just have fun in general. It's always nice to monkey around with uh, your guild member. You know, no matter how strong you get, if there's nobody around you to celebrate with you, then what is the point of the strength you gain? Talk about strength. Here's uh, our next point. This one depends person to person. Like for me, this one is like next level headaches. So basically, a big chunk of strength is coming from your skill setup. Depends on what skill setup you have. Even a boss normally takes you about like 5 minutes to kill. Just change your skill setup to the weakness of the boss. It may only take you about like 30 seconds. Even this is a headache to me, but still, sometimes I still sit down and check through my skills to see what type of set I can make. If the set you made is actually working out in the end, I'm not gonna lie, it actually feels next level good. So how to make this type of set is pretty simple. For example, you see this Asuna. Her second ability is critical rate and critical damage plus 10% when HP is under 50%. And also you can see this Asuna here. As HP is below 50%, critical rate 26% increase. You can also use this Lisbeth to increase some survivability. The idea is basically chain the skills up, make them work together. Just like some type of puzzle. 
<laughs> How fun is this? Depends on person. I'm literally a pumpkin head, so <laughs> I'm not suitable for this type of stuff. So let's just move on to the next point. A pharaoh of the fish. After mindless grinding, you can always come here to fish. And fish is not just saying it's a mini game of fish. Getting fish will earn you a bunch of um, awesome stuff, especially when there's a fish ranking event happening, just like right now. So make sure to. <laughs> Yeah, get some point out there. The more higher point you get, the better, of course. Sometimes you just don't want to do anything. You just want to sit there and fish. <laughs> Fishing ranking event happen pretty much every single season, so there's always chance for everybody. If you're interested in memory meter, then always welcome here and then get some fish. Maybe you're lucky. Maybe you can get that fishing ranking number one title. Well, as I said before, number one. Number one is special and cool. Compete with your guild member, see who can get higher ranking. Maybe that's fun too. Also, don't forget to congrats them. <laughs> that's pretty much covers all, but uh, I gotta add one more point because it's my video. I gotta add something I enjoy as well. Yeah. This one probably, like most people think, it's not that big of deal type of things, but for me, it kinda is. You see, in my mindset, what counts as an RPG world is something that are unreal. Something that doesn't look like it's from this world. What is waiting for me on top of that floating island? I want to see it. What treasure is hidden in this dungeon? I want to find it. This is the most basic feeling when you were little. It's the feeling that you want to go for our adventure. But of course, this is real world. We don't have anything like this. That's why this map are so precious to me. It recalls my feelings. And that feeling I thought I lasted long, long ago. To me, these maps are basically fantasy itself. Something that are way too beautiful to exist in this world. Way too unrealistic. And that's probably the reason why it's precious to me. Sometimes I just like to slow down my pace and go to one of these maps. Just walk around it and look around and just imagine what it feels to be in this type of map. What will I do in this type of place? Yeah, <laughs> I'm basically that one weird guy that get impressed by map instead of the gameplay. And that is okay, boy. Everybody need one of those little space, like, to relax, right? Not just Sword Art Online Integral Factor that has this type of map. I play a lot of RPG games, and most of them have uh, some next level scenery that I've never seen before. It's just great stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that was basically it. And that was it! How to enjoy Sword Art Online Integral Factor. Did you learn anything yet? Well, no need to rush. You can enjoy slowly by slowly. <laughs> Phew. And again, thank you guys very much for those comments. Oh yeah, uh, if you want to like uh, give me more suggestions, of course it's always welcome. More stuff to do is always good, you know? Like this video, if it's not you guys, this video will not be here. Like 100% not be here. So yeah, third class is over. Class dismissed. Until next class.